It's it's something we've talked about um, from from the get go from last spring, uh, moving through you know the summer into the fall that you know they I, I always say I want them to learn on their own, but because I don't want to pound it into them and because then it's then they don't like it and then it's it's not a good thing. So slowly but surely you got to hope they figure it out. Obviously we got three really good players that have played. A lot have a lot of experience. Elite Eight, Big Twelve championship, been through all the wars. Um, you know they got to be our go-to guys. They got to make plays, but we also have they have to help the other guys. Got to help the young guys, uh, the Mike McGirls, the Levi's. Uh, you know Nigel's, James Love, Sean Williams, all the guys that had a little bit of experience and bring them along, just like Dean Barry and Cam brought brought those guys along. You know, we've talked a lot about culture of effort. Um, that's been the thing that, you know, that and with toughness, uh, you know, great IQ, uh, you know, all doing all the things that we do. And it's got to be there. Uh, it's got to be constant. We've talked about a championship DNA. We brought up what Coach Beard talked about last year after we beat him here. That, you know, K-State had a championship DNA. And, and the big thing is, do they understand that and do they want to be continue that? You know, it's DNA is supposed to be, you know, self-replacing. So if that if that's true, you know, we'll we'll continue to replace it within ourselves. And it might not be the same pretty masterpiece, but it, we still can be successful. I, it, you know, at first, I'll be honest, I, I just thought he was going to go through it. I think that was the message I got. Obviously, it went a little longer. Um, you get some anxiety, there's no doubt. Um, you know, he, and, and we had talks, and I, I told him, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to just tell you what people are telling. Um, I, I've been through it before. I, I, I've created tough relationships. Years ago, when I was a young coach, I'd like, you know, what are you doing? You're, you know, it's stupid. You know all this stuff, and then it then it's not good. You know it, it you know, and and I I thought there was rationale. Talk to his mom and dad, um, but you know we had to wait till the last day, and you know that it there's no doubt it was a relief. And I think you know I I, I believe he made the right decision just from all the feedback I got. Um, I I hope he does, and I hope it, it, he is rewarded because of that, and has a great year. Gets his degree, which I know is very important to his mom, and and gets an opportunity to play in the NBA, and that's his dream and goal. In what ways would you like to see him maybe improve his game in, in the bass scope, and then well, what I, is he doing so well right now? Well, I think you know the the feedback he got, and I think you you guys have watched him, and you know, elite defender, elite athlete, just has to be more efficient, efficient at the three, efficient just shooting percentage, you know all those things and I don't think he has to be like so much better he just has to be more efficient consistent dependable and and then you know we can last year you know you most of our stuff was set up for those three guys now we had a couple plays for X but now I, I hope you know more is set up for X it's for Mac it's for Cardi you know that that's what you know that's what we're hoping what have, what have been your impressions of the new guys, you know, freshmen? And, and, you know, well, it's been hard. And, and last year we had no really – we had Sean, but, you know, we, we only had one freshman, and now you got three. Uh, each one it's a little different for. Um, uh, Dejuan's just got a little more street toughness. Uh, been, he doesn't seem to back down or give in, and he, he made every time in conditioning. Uh, you know, he, he makes mistakes, but – uh, you know, he he just has that little bit of more toughness. The other two have gone through some growing pains, but to their credit, uh, you know, they I think they realize now what it's about. Uh, they know it's hard, and they're trying to push through. And uh, they they both are talented and can help us, and there's no doubt about that. But how how quick can they come along? And you know, that'll that'll be a key for them. How many minutes and how much production we're going to get out of. X maybe having different stuff run for him with with Mac now not having Dean down there is he someone you envision? Uh, you know we you know you go back to the Kansas game in the 
in the tournament. Um, we ran all the plays we ran for Dean, for Mac. Now they weren't probably ready to guard it, and maybe they weren't as good defensively at that time. But, you know, and then even last year, Mac ended up on 14 and 12 on a double-double, uh, you know, without Dean. So, you know, his – he's got to stay out of foul trouble um, so he can play longer. Um, he's got to be just a little more consistent on some on the little things. But, you know, I, I want him to go inside-outside. But he, he's learned, you know, when he got here, he just wanted to play outside. We had to kind of fight him to play in. But now he realized I can score in. So now if he can do that and add some perimeter shooting, that's going to make him more effective. Do you always start at the top of page one each season, or is like last year's team on page three? Just kind of how do you, how do you Well, we were lucky, you know, last year with everybody back. We were way ahead. We didn't have to push them as much in the summer. Uh, you know, this year we, we I would tell you we use almost all our minutes. Uh, you know, every every week, even in the fall, we've had to do more just because. And I and I told the older guys, do not get bored. We got to help those other guys because David and we didn't even mention David Sloan. You know, you got the three freshmen and David Sloan, and David Sloan missed the whole summer because of his you know wrist surgery. So you know, it's it's going to take him a while. It's going to take the other guys. We just that last drill with those four guys on just a basic defensive drill. We had to go like four or five or six times because it's it, it's going to take reps for them. And then the other guys, they got to help them and not get bored and, and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to. And then you hope slowly but surely they'll come together. This is Are you, the second summer with the, the four-hour bump uh, for basketball. Has that helped more with this group? Well, there's no doubt. We used it. We used the time. And, and, and you know, I, I and I talked to Coach Mitty and their staff – you know, it's that fine line, how much do you push them? Uh, I talk, I talk to, you always talk to coaches, you're out recruiting, what are you doing? Because everyone wants feedback, and I think every team is different. The one thing we try to maintain is give Ben his time. Four hours, 4.15, four and a half. Because uh, if we can improve our guys physically, conditioning, mental toughness, to me that's going to help us maybe then I, you know, a few extra shots or a drill or whatever. So that we always, even now, all fall, we maintain. Ben had his time, and, and that, you know, I think that's what, you know, you look for things that can set you apart and bring other guys along quicker. I think that's part of it. Are you healthy at present? Yeah, we, we've, um, Xavier uh, had a little tendonitis. They did a little procedure, sat him out for three, four days. He did part of practice today. Um, hopefully he'll be full go uh, this next you know, next week sometime. We're just trying to bring him along. Obviously, he's a veteran. He's been through it. The one thing I got to be careful with him because he, you know, Cardi's been in the gym shooting, but Xavier went through physical stress and mental stress. The whole thing you talked about, that was physically and mentally draining for him because as soon as we ended, he went and he was gone almost a month. I mean, he uh, he didn't go home, and then, and then he had to come here, and I could just one uh, that first week of June, I was really worried about him because you could you could see it, the weight on his shoulders, his face. Uh, so, and I think now he's a little more happy, feels good about himself, and uh, ready to go. With Cartier's ability to defend, to defend, the, how many different positions is he looking at? at yeah, I mean, you know, he's we can play him. You know, he, he, I think the nice thing, Cardi can push and create. We can also put him at the two and, and let David, Sean, uh, you know, make plays for and help him because I, I hope Cardi should be one of our best three-point shooters. He's, you know, he, he did it as a freshman, slipped a little bit last year, uh, but, you know, he's been in the gym more than anybody. And when you track his numbers, they're, they're astronomical. Shots made shots attempted in, in the off season. So, uh, you know, then, you know, we, there's going to be times when he's just going to be able to go and create and make plays. Other times, get him spotted up and make some plays. And then that allows, too, on the defensive end, can he play point? Can he play two? Can we, you know, different positions? And, and that's the other thing. Xavier can guard, and we did it last year. He can guard one, two, three, four. Now, I know he doesn't want to guard a four, but there's certain games he might have to. Um, I, I, I think those guys have done a good job. Um, you know, 
some by example, some talking. Uh, you know, those, the, the older guys are trying to do it. Uh, you know, so, and everybody, I, I think more than that, I think right now we have good followers and they're listening and that's important. Could be wrong, but it looks like David's maybe already dropped some weight since he got here. How yeah. does he understand his condition? Well, that was, it was hard for him. And, uh, you know, at first you get the surgery that first couple of weeks, but then, you know, you start, he likes to play. And, and, you know, now it's three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. And, and, and then it was all, you know, Ben, he had been for eight hours a week. And so he, he, I think he realizes, and I, I thought that first few days back, he really was behind. I thought, man, this might take a while. But this second week now, he's, he's clicking. It's not pure or anything, but he's clicking. It's been a very interesting week in college basketball with <clears throat> accusations against KU, a postseason ban today for Georgia Tech. But number one, what are your thoughts on just kind of that, all that resurfacing again and, and how stiff some of these penalties could really be? Yeah, I – to be honest, I was surprised about the sniff, stiffness of the penalty. Um, you know, it'll be interesting what happens. Uh, you know, it's never good for the game. There, you know, there's no doubt. Our, I love our game. It's a great game. I've been involved. This is my 41st season. I don't want it. But at the same time, um, you know, you hope everybody's doing it the, the same way, the right way. And, you know, we'll just, we'll just you know, you, I can't comment on something I don't know enough about. And I don't – you guys read way more than I do. You know, I've seen a couple little things just because people send them to me to, you know, think about or whatever. But, uh, you know, I, I, I want our game to be good. And, and, I, and, again, I love it. And all we can worry about is ourselves and doing things the way we do, and making sure uh, our guys, you know, love to play, get in the gym, go to class, get degrees, and give them a chance for their future. How much does that get you to like? Not not that your staff ever would probably have an issue with that, but kind of grab your staff and say like, "Hey, let's just make sure." Well, I think even little things. Yeah, you know, it just you're always worried, and and our compliance people do a great job. Sometimes we get a little frustrated because we think they maybe go a little overboard. But as you see, it's it's probably good that uh, you know they try to do all the little things across the T's and you know all the put the periods on, make sure we're doing all the little details and. I know it's important to Gene. I know it's important to our compliance, and it's important to our staff. You know, I, we're not perfect, and I've always said that. You know, I, I, I would never tell you I'm perfect, but we try to do it the right way. I understand you can't talk specifics, but uh, it, it appears recruiting's off to a pretty good start. Do you feel like people are starting to, um, you know, respond to a, a Elite Eight and Big 12? And back -to -back? Well, I think we've got some nice publicity. It's gotten us involved with some kids. Um, good vibe. You know, now we got to finish it off. And, uh, it, it'll be key. You know, I feel good about what we've done so far, but uh, it's, it's going to be important for that next group and how we finish it off. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. The coaches have worked hard. I, I think I, the, we, this is the earliest we've ever started practice, which meant recruiting got really jammed in. And I think I was like 14 out of 16 days on the road because you had to see so many kids and, and it, it makes it tough because now I came back one day a week, but each time I had to leave that night. So you're not around your players, which in some ways they, they get, I'll yell at them all the time. So, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to be gone, but in the long run, but it's still, it's draining the way it is. You know, Jermaine's been here, but what he brought to the, the floor? You know, he's got great energy and, you know, he, he loves the guys. He wants to, he talks to them. He has, I think he's pretty rational. And, uh, you know, I, even as the academic guy, I think he does a great job with their mental approach uh, and trying to get them to understand where the coaches are coming from and just, you know, making sure, you know, they're, you know he appreciates college basketball, what he, his opportunities, being a player, moving up in the business, and he wants to make sure our guys appreciate what they have here. Well, I, I, I think he wants to. I think he's made the effort to. Um, it's got to come over a course of time, I think, like you said, gradual. But he, he, he knows it, and they, all, they know it's their, their 
team, and they have to make sure example, right thing, actions, all of it is, is important. And, um, you know, I, I just like Xavier's got a smile on his face. And that, to me, that's important because like, you play happy, good things happen. The number of times you referenced like, things you admire about Coach Snyder and what you did over you know, his time at K-State, have you had any opportunities to be with Coach Kleiman a little just bit? Just a little bit. The cap I actually talked to him this morning. At our, we had a head coach's meeting. But, you know, I, you know, somebody asked me all the day. I don't – you know, I think very similar to what Coach Snyder did. You know, solid football. They, they defend. They block. You know, they obviously had a good fortune. We talked this morning with, about the running backs just because everyone knew that was a big question. Uh, the quarterback, stay healthy. I think we all know that. It's not very tough to realize that. But, uh, you know, I'm happy for him, happy for K-State. You know, hopefully a sellout, Baylor, and keep moving forward. On board is Pearson's uh, voice. You know, he – Pearson – is, and that was one of the reasons I gave him a scholarship. One, he deserves it. He's worked his tail off. He's been here every day. He, you know, whether it's, we play him at the big guys and he, you know, has to deal with physicality, tries to guard Cardi, whatever it might be. But, you know, I, I hope he brings a logical voice to the locker room. And, and I think that's important. And he's been through it. He appreciates it. He wants, he wants to have a great senior year. So, you know, when you add him to Xavier, to Mac and Cardi, I think that's a good nucleus of older guys that can really bring great leadership. Who have you seen the most uh, significant progress from? Well, I, I would have told you, it, it, you know, Levi had the best summer, and then he got hurt, had some foot issues, and we rested him, and I think he's okay now. We changed his orthotics. Um, and, you know, so he, he slipped, you know, he went backwards a little bit. He's got to catch up. Mike McGurl was really making strides, and I think he just feeling good about himself. And, and then he hurt his, broke his hand, and then he sat. So I, I'm really surprised Mike is first two days of practice. It doesn't look like he sat out for six weeks. He's done a nice job for us. So, um, you know, those, those guys are you know, going to be very – beside the older guys, those guys have played in big games. And so those, those two – if you can get something, James and Nigel, that'll be, you know, that'd be really important just to give us more depth with those big guys. I could be wrong, but I'd heard that Montavious was in and out of conditioning. Was he dealing with something, or is he? Was he... Um, he, he had a little bit of, you know, they all go through it, and when you're a freshman, obviously things hurt a lot worse, than, and then it, especially when they say you got to run more tomorrow, yeah. and it, and so, but I, again, I told you one of the first things I give them credit they fought back they're finished they're finishing up their conditioning they had some today they got a few more I know they'll be happy but we just talked to them about this is part of the process they've all been through it if you want to be successful at this level you got it it's the mental toughness it's a physical toughness and and they're starting to realize that has this team shown you anything up to this point in time that you didn't think you were going to see out of them, but you saw it happen. You said, no, I'm surprised by that. That's a good well, thing. Well, I, I, you know, our, our big thing is, you know, we talk about our championship DNA effort, the defense. I, I, I think we can be a good defensive team. We got to get a few other guys that don't have the repetitions, the habits to understand what we're doing every day. Um, so, I, I, you know, I've been happy with that part of it. Um, you know, the scoring, you know, I, 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 we'll have to see, but I, you know, I think Xavier can score. I think Cardi can score. I think Matt can score. Now, can you mix in some other guys? And that'll be big question. What is uh, Sean showing you from year one to year two? You know, he, he, I think he's got to figure out what he is when you talk about roles. And, you know, how can he – can you play – you know, he wants the ball, but, you know, Cardi wants it too and Xavier wants it. Now can you do some other things? And can you guard? And, you know, he's got the size. He's got the body. He's a great passer. Um, you know, he, I think sometimes he, he – and there's a lot of kids, they fight themselves. They, they want to do too much. Just be good. Be solid. I talk to Cardi all the time about dominate simple. If you dominate simple, you're going to be a really good player because, you know, he's so physically gifted. Same thing with – you don't have to – you know, the step backs are fine, all that stuff. But, hey, just be really good at all the little stuff and – 
you know, when we need a shot at the end of the shot clock, hit your step back. I'll be happy. But do all the other stuff along the way.